you've been following the border story closely, you know there is a limit on how long the government can detain children whose parents have entered the country illegally. That limit comes from a court order. But will today's executive order change that? We asked Pete Muntean to find out. You've probably been hearing a lot about the Flores Agreement or Flores Settlement, and you're going to hear a lot more about it over the next few days. Here's why. Flores comes from a 1997 court decision that laid out broad immigration policy. One part was clarified in U.S. District Court only three years ago, and that's the part that keeps families who cross the border from being split up. It says migrant children can be held in government custody only 20 days. After that ruling, entire families were released until now. Trump administration has been fighting for Flores to be changed. Now the White House wants families in detention together, but even longer. The president's executive order calls for a harder line detention until criminal proceedings are over. Who can change this? Well, that's where the administration is saying two very different things. It says the U.S. District Judge who clarified this three years ago can make the change, but the White House also says the change can come from Congress. The exact answer is still not clear, so get used to hearing about this, Leslie. Yeah, this was set up 30 years ago to set standards, and it's still evolving. And the fight's just beginning. All right, Pete.